I would have been so pained if you had bought that fancy, you know? Well, I wouldn't have thought of bothering when it's, if, if some guys didn't turn into animals in there. Oh, those idiots in there? Come on, you don't have to let them spoil your mood. There you are. See, those guys in there, they are not who. Exactly. You know, that's exactly why this beautiful lady had to leave the scene. Ah, say so. Say so. See, there are so many good clubs around, though. Let's just have fun, babe. Yes. Beautiful idea my friend has there. By the way, my name is Greg. What's yours? Cement. Aha, Samantha. What a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. So let's just be productive. I'm parked right here, so um, let's hit the globe. Okay, uh, let's uh, just hit uh, uh, I, I, I meet you. Globe. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mimi, <laughs> I was beginning to think you never come. What's going on in there? Just the usual, bro. It's just uh, one Ghanaian guy fighting a Nigerian over a woman. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's a lost battle already. <laughs> Say that well, again. Ade, what do you mean, Anna? Who bought them all? Where the hell do you think you're going? What's your problem? Ade, then how? Come, baby. Leave me, let me go where I'm going. I'm not leaving this place without you. You're crazy. Better piss off. I'm not leaving this place without you. Mm. Go ahead. Emeka, how are you? It's just this guy there, they misbehave. Nah, I leave all these things. Can't say about uh, uh, See, I don't like the way you've been staggering. You go inside, I'll drive you. Be my GPS. Let's go in. The club seem hot tonight, so yeah. let's just party inside. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in too. Well, I I can't stick the audio. Yeah. It's okay. Good, that's right. You know, uh, dude, that reminds me. Uh, please, next time you go out, if you know you're going to drink stupidly, don't drive. Mm -hmm. Already, Greg, don't tell my father. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm your driver <laughs> now, right?
You know, I, I saw so many beautiful ladies, but it didn't make sense to me. And just at the time I was about giving up, she strolled away. I said, no. Just have to fix this quick one in the kitchen. Ooh. <laughs> Break this for you in the day. Ooh, lady. <laughs> my soft and my sweet ah. mini. What did I tell you? That this dude here is an international chef. No, please. Right? For special <laughs> cuisines for moments like this. Mm -hmm. Is this right? Oh no, oh, yours is right. <laughs> and even that was too much appellation. No, it's alright. Come on, oh come on. Mm. I should be doing this for you. <laughs> We've got two fouchette. One for you, one for me. Thank you. Okay, this is what we do. Mm. Maybe I start by making you feel so much like a queen. Try that. Um mm. Mm, I told you. I told you. Mm -hmm. well, for these sweet babes, I can become anything. Mm. <laughs> mm. What's it about this, this sauce? Mm. Let's just say I put a small magic in it. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I, like, I love it. No? It's a kind of meal. You know, a small which is a bon appetit you enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One more. Mm -hmm. You know, for these sweet babes, I can become anything. I know, I trust you. Hmm. What job? <laughs> Is it not you? <laughs> very good, very good. Mm. I trust you, bro. No, no. This is great. Mm. Samantha? Yeah? Are you enjoying it? Sure. Ah, you are nice. asking. <laughs> you can see written all over our face. <laughs> From a great chef to a beautiful woman. What do you expect? Mm. Satisfaction guaranteed. Listen, guys, um, my woman and I, we need a quiet time together. So I am ascending. Greg, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you guys can carry on with your Berlin conference. So let's go. Okay. Take all the time you need. Well, I'm not taking permissions from you. <laughs> all right, you guys be good, huh? My guy, he is such a fast walker. He seems to be a perfect gentleman too. Sure, sure he is. But that's Samantha, babe. She strikes me extraordinary. Where she come from? Kumasi. Kumasi. So, what is she doing here in Accra? Haven't asked her. On vacation, perhaps. Whatever. That girl in body set. And what if you make up stand though? Men, what in skirt wouldn't make them stay? Dead or alive? You are right. But this place is becoming boring. Come, we could go around things. My body too hot. Hey, 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 not too fast. Number, you, 
And you got the ambulance! What happened? Oh my god! It is done. I'm afraid, sir. You are coming with us. And you too, madam. It's okay. You tell us everything. I want to make contact with my embassy first. You will do that after your detailed statement, not before. Officer, I am a responsible Nigerian and I'm here for genuine business. We will determine that. I also have proof. Mister? Mr. Madu, to be precise, Greg Madu. That's all right. Remember, you are in a foreign country. And of course I do. You got into Accra just 48 hours. That's right. Your host, Mr. Emeka Unwafo, has lived in Ghana for 17 years. That's another fact. In just 36 hours, your host, Mr. Emeka Unwafo, was shot down by unidentified gunman. <sighs> Do you believe in coincidence? Well, sometimes. Well, I don't. Because in my line of duty, when I do that, I will lose a lot of traces. Well, just give me a full detail of every statement, starting from when your aircraft got onto the Kotoka International Airport tarmac. What thing make you do one? What thing in hell make you leave me? <laughs> Lucky, me then you get agreements now. Why you think say the money where me then you the chopper they get them from? Me here will be I know they hear any money from any bloody Nigerian in there. Why you hate them so? Because they be just serpents. They, 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 they make noise. <laughs> Look, no be every Nigerian way in day Ghana, where be you sepa or they make noise. Some of them be genuine businessmen and very, very generous as well. Listen, the man where you kill for day, be genuine businessman. Why you do why you do so? Wait, what do you know? <laughs> Tell me, it be jealousy where you make you kill him. Confess. Fuck you. <laughs> You are here for business. That's right. What kind of business? Sally Communications. Officer, I'm here on the invitation of BTN to seal a deal that has been on for nine months. Why didn't you factor it in your report? 
officer, would it be necessary to drag the honor of BTN into a homicide case? You think it's necessary? How long do you intend to stay? Two weeks. Why did you return home before the party ended? Well, a fight broke out in the nightclub and my late friend advised that we take the party home. Is that a crime? No. It's just a result that um, two people ended up dead. Officer, we have given you a detailed description of Mimi and one lucky guy whose attitude is questionable. Coupled with the sudden disappearance of Mimi, isn't that enough to interest you in this case? You know, horses avoid cops the same way mice avoid cats. None of them will stick for her to be quizzed. Uh, but I was never told Mimi is a whore. Well, how will you call a lady that frequently visits the nightclub and also follow men? To the house. I take exception to that, sir. I am not on you yet, Samantha. Uh, can I contact my embassy now? No. Mr. Madu, you will go straight to our detention cell. Why? Because we are still investigating the issue. But, sir, he is a foreigner and, and, and deserves every right. Miss Samantha, you will be detained too. Why, 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 why would you have to drag her into this? Why, why? Because we are talking about a murder case here. Oh, God, how did I get myself into this? Take them in. Good afternoon. How is it? I'm calling Sasante from the Daily Guide. How may I help you? Samantha is my niece. I came to seek her bill. Bill? So what the hell were you thinking getting mixed up with murder? It just happened. Nobody plans for misfortune. The belief that dominates the heart and the mind is shown in real life. Charlie, I didn't plan getting mixed up in a normal site. So how come you got hooked up with a foreigner just 36 hours of his stepping foot onto these shores? I'm a woman, Colin. Tommy Goofy. Your mom asked me to bring you to her place. Oh dear, Gru. You must be kidding, right? She know me better than that. Please. The last time I stayed with my mom was three years ago. Yeah, the more reason you need to see her. She's missing you. But I'm not missing her. You know, you're a sport brat. That's why I usually get mixed up with the very wrong company. Watch where you're going. You better watch it, Collins. Collins, huh? please. Thank you very much for taking me on bill. I'm very grateful, but... Believe me, that, that man I left behind. Which man? The foreigner is a Nigerian. Trust me, he's innocent. He's a respectable businessman. And I'm not going to leave him behind bars. All he just needs is my help to regain food to complete his business. Oh, Samantha. Ah! That man is a bad news. He has already landed into trouble. Can't you understand that? Charlie, you are a journalist, an editor for the matter. Where are your instincts? <sighs> Collins, please take me to the Nigerian embassy. Why? You know what they happen, Collins? Emotions aside, me, I get the feeling, say, this great guy could be one amaga. 
and we not supposed to lose God for this opportunity. I be make with myself. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. But if you get yourself into a deeper trouble, I'll walk out. Oh, set a deal. Greg needs my help. Which you've given him more dose than he's worth. Tell you once told me there are so many sins and misery in the world that all that and that our love and compassion. I only just quoted James Allen. You wouldn't have quoted him if you didn't believe in the statements. See, most times, you know, Nigerians are wrongly accused and killed in this country. I won't buy that, Samantha, just because you have an affection for a man whose feet landed in catastrophe. Keep emotions out of this. We both agreed to play this game together. But not just on your terms. Remember, I'm still on bail. As much as Greg is, I am hugely involved too. I'm only here and it's in detention only because I'm an indigent. Most Nigerians in our country are into drugs, robbery, and all sorts of fraud. You see, the word most is highly exaggerated. Okay, look at it this way. The man that was murdered is an electronic dealer. And the man in detention deals with telecommunication. So... Those may be funds, you know, with Nigerians, you really never know. Emeka was killed because of Mimi and... Why? Jealousy. You know you Ghanaians are never happy the way Nigerian guys outdo you with a love triangle. Mimi guy was jealous. Pull the trigger at Emeka and boom, it happened. Be careful with your unfounded hypothesis. You know we're talking about murder. Exactly why I'm bothered. The police shouldn't rush to make Greg guilty only because he's a foreigner. That's one thing I still just can't place together. Why do our women swarm around those bloody Nigerians? Because these bloody Nigerians, as you put it, have everything you guys do not. Everything as in what? Time for pleasure, generosity, and of course, excellent bed manners. You got to be kidding me. I've never been more serious in my life. Anyway, I believe you've done more than enough. He can steal in his own juice if his embassy doesn't act accordingly. No, 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 Charlie. See, you've got to help me go a step further. How? You are the editor in the Daily Guide, right? In the day. That's the more reason you have to help me go a step further because your niece sitting right before you is already in love with the guy in detention. Jimmy D. About Adobe, you know, a woman in love is an emotional time. Boom. And you don't want to say it. You. You stink. My name is Shebo Bundumi. How is it? I represent His Excellency, Nigeria's ambassador to Ghana. So what do I owe you this presence? We understand you're holding one Mr. Greg Mado in one of your detention cells. Yes, and um, you also know that this same Greg Mado is also mixed up in a murder case. Quite an unfortunate incident. You see, both Mr. Madu and his late friend, Mr. Mwafo, come clean on our radar as respective and genuine businessmen. Well, your radar must be operating on a different trustosphere of that of Ghana police. Still, every radar is designed to Ghana facts and not fictions, else the world will be littered with untoward accidents. Well, I was taught in college that a diplomat is sent to one's country to lie for his own country. 
you most probably paid the wrong teacher chief. You see, in my profession, the idea is to dive into turbulent water without making a single splash. You know what? Go say that to your ambassador, he says. No. I am here to take Mr. Madu on bail. If you have any message for the ambassador, give Mr. Madu now. I can see you haven't seen it. Now that is what I call unbiased reporting. Excellent journalism. You see, you can't keep the lead on this case any longer without drawing the eye of my government back home. I was told you're a tough cop, but nobody included you the kind of guy to spark off a diplomatic role between my country and yours. Don't tell me everybody was wrong. Well, I am here because I do my job. And take it from me. No amount of arm twisting will crunch me from doing that. Fine. I love people who do their jobs. I stop at nothing to help people do their jobs. Now that is what we ask. Do your job such that the innocence doesn't end up guilty. Mr. Shagwa, I really owe you one to be candid. You know I had so much confidence that uh, I'm going to come back that night. <laughs> when I spent four solid days behind the bars, that was when I knew that something terrible could just happen. Do you want my candid advice? I please should. You see, someone with your kind of reputation shouldn't be seen around nightclubs in Accra. Just after 24 hours of arrival. No, but I had company. <laughs> the one that winded dead. Good company indeed. Oh, listen, listen, listen. I listen. have known a mecca all through my life. I've known him. A mecca comes to Nigeria. He, he spends most of his time in my home. So if he assured me that the nightclub is safe, why should I doubt him? Besides, the guy who shot him. Shot him in this house. Probably because of the girl he took from the club. Girl? Mr. Madu, you see, Ghanaian youngsters don't take kindly to Nigerians snatching their women. What? Yes. Oh, come on, Mr. Shego. It's a free world, isn't it? <laughs> you see, the days of Ghana must go might be gone, but the scars still run deep. Mr. Madu, if I were you, I would conduct my business and quietly return home. Well, listen, you don't need to remind me. Do you know that the girl who was arrested with me bailed herself and bolted, disappeared? You mean Samantha? You met her. <laughs> How wrong you are, Mr. Madu. Uh, well, well, the, just address me. Call me Greg. Cut off this Mr. Madu Madu thing. Fine. And Shagun too. Okay, thank you. So, Samantha. As a matter of fact, Samantha was the one who came to the embassy to make the report. What? Yes. She did? Yes. And the ambassador specifically told me to be your mojo domo. So how do you want it? Mojo domo. Uh -huh. Now I don't understand what that means. Do you still wish to stay in this house? My brother. Absolutely no. I need a safer heaven. I need a safer place. Probably a safe hotel. Then go inside there, get your things. Let me send you to one. Ah, oh, please, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. This is the safest hotel we know. Very close to the embassy too. Greg, if you need any assistance, just call. Oh yeah, um, I want to say thanks a million. I'm most grateful. Uh, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll come to the office to see the ambassador. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, please do me a favor. I, I, I really would love it if you guys put pressure to make sure that uh, Emeka's killers don't go scot-free. The pressure is already on. Hmm. 
One more thing, Greg. The embassy got involved because you have an impeccable CV. Don't ever put a stain on it. Uh, I'm not planning to. Good. I appreciate everything. Sending Samantha home will be like keeping to the phone books. Hope you understand. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Okay, you too, bro. Take care, man. You're welcome. Yay! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That I'm making love in your hotel suite four days after my best friend's corpse was deposited in the mortuary. Hey, you're making me feel guilty, Pa. You sh Yeah, but I told you that I, I was, I've been in detention because of the solid murder of Emeka. Well, uh, everything is under control now. Uh, the embassy has been there for me to give me all the necessary support. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way to the BTM. I have an appointment with them. Three more weeks precisely and uh, that will be fine. Uh, okay. All right, yeah, thanks. Uh, bye. Who's that? Oh, my PA. Oh. <laughs> I don't have female workers in my company, and I've never ever dreamt of having it. Are you a chemist? No, just that. Uh, um, as a single man, you have a PA or secretary who is so competent, you end up uh, marrying her. I mean, she ends up your wife. And what's wrong with that? Uh, not only really, just that uh, you don't know whether you're marrying the wife or her efficiency. That's just the point. So, tell me about your woman. Oh, there's nothing to tell. Nothing to tell. Yes, because there's no woman. <laughs> Please, Charlie, don't tell me there's no woman. Look, Samantha, there's no woman. Look, I'm, I'm so difficult, you know, to impress. You know, and, and you should count yourself lucky that uh, you have me. Uh, just like I, I should also count myself lucky that I have an angel like you too, you know. I'm blessed. You know, trust to be trusted is much more better than to be loved. Yeah, but that's good in Jim McDonald. But you know what? As a lady, I prefer it the other way around. Well, that's true. But I just, uh, I just need to tell you something. You know, if there's one thing I will never want missing as long as I stay in this country of yours, it's you. <laughs> yeah, I want you all around me every which time. You can't stop me, Charlie. <laughs> No meaningful idiots. Probably there are over 100,000 Mimis in Ghana. You know, the one that we are all after might certainly be in hiding. Just like the lucky one in question. Wait, wait, officer. You, you, you mean the killers of my friend will just go scot-free like that? No. I haven't said any statement to that effect. Mr. Imadu, 
we are in a sophisticated world. You know, the lucky police officer is the one that stamps on the lead. A slip by the criminal holds on to it. You know, I can tell you for sure, no police officer is capable of a miracle. Well, I completely agree. But however, the will usually overcomes hardship. You see, my government is very interested because of the heat Mr. Mwafo's death is generating in Nigeria. He was a very good man. Well, we are leaving that into chance. Well, thank you. We only wish you hit upon that luck. That is everyone's prayer. business all that is left now is to make sure I make us cops goes home that's it well as you requested I've taken this manager to all the relevant offices for necessary papers mm -hmm. to which I'm most grateful mm, that's that's it that's really nice um, in three days I should be back home I have my tickets all booked Yes. It's not too sudden. What, what, what about me? Listen to me. I have spent 25 days in this country. I have to go back home. Besides. Besides what? I, 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 I wouldn't want you to follow me back home. Yes. Listen. Once I come back in two months, you come along. That's just the point. <laughs> Samantha! You know I don't like it when you do this. It, it pricks me, it hurts. Do you have a heart? Of course you know that, it's obvious. You don't care. Don't, you don't care at all. All you just wanted was to, to free yourself from your police problem, but just, just close your business and just go. No, no, will you stop all. that? Will you stop it? Stop it! Why? Why is it, is, it, is it because I'm hitting the spots? No, because you're missing it entirely. 
sometimes, look, sometimes our, 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 our passions, uh, you, one's passion becomes one's enemy. Okay? No, 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 what is life without philosophy? What is it? I, I've always told you the one problem I have with you, you get sometimes you get sentimentally selfish. I'm not selfish. Damn it, I'm not! Listen to me. I want you to do this for me, baby. Listen. I am a Nigerian. A proud one for that matter. And where I come from, we have a tremendous reverence for the dead. I cannot ask you to follow me home for mere romantic frivolities. At the same time, I'm taking the corpse of my best friend home. Charlie. Okay, fine. Just... Have you, have you even thought of what attending this burial will mean to me? Have you? We Africans. Dead cut the cross. Okay, 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 okay. The dead that kept a man I have ever loved in my life apart from me. Don't I deserve to at least come with you? Okay. Tell me now who's been selfish. Listen to me. As a Nigerian, I know how my people think. Samantha, the moment you and I touch my homeland, in the sea, both of us. Bearing in mind that Emeka's killers have not been apprehended. You know what will happen? Instantly, they assume obviously that you and I connive to kill Emeka. That is the point I'm trying be to be free through. Feed me another yarn, Charlie. I, 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 I can't say her. Go home having you at the back of. My mind, when, 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 when I'm, I'm grieving my friend, my, 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 my friend's death. Oh, I see. You think I just don't want to see you anymore? Or rather, you think I care less, right? Is that what you think? Let me tell you the truth. The most important thing here is my friend's corpse. And it's fundamental, it's paramount. And as a best friend, Emeka's best friend, the best I can do for Emeka this moment is to accord him every iota of reverence. Because it was all about me too that he died. I must accord him every iota of reverence. And that also means going home without you, Samantha. That's the point. Even, I mean, taking it further, staying away from you for, 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 for two months. At least to, 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 to have some reverence. I, I, I cost them because they have you ever thought about no, that? No, two months. All I just want is to be with you in a moment of grief. That's, that's all. It's not possible. I wouldn't want you to come with me. Let me tell you the truth. I wouldn't even want you to see me off to the airport. You know why? The Nigerian community is organizing a peaceful protest against the Mecca's death. CNN and other international media, they have this story. What will happen? Imagine you and I right there, the media press, everybody. Cameras here and there, interviews here and there. And they see the two of us. What do I explain to them? What do I tell them? Come on, sweetheart. You just need to understand me. It's for us. I'm being careful. This is sensitive. Then love me like never before. I am doing that. I love you. You know that. You deserve it. And I'm determined to make sure.
Shegun is waiting. Let him wait. After all, I'm going to wait at some moment. But I need to go. <sighs> can, can you just stop this? <laughs> told me anything. Baby, what else do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you? Greg, you were gone for 28 days. And you did not bother calling me for a day. I did all the calling. Yeah, but baby, you did, the, the, the issue is simply this, you know. Emeka was killed right in my presence two days after arrival. I got detained for four days in a foreign land. You know, and the, but for the embassy staff who was who were there to like save me from the embarrassment, and I got business to tie up. I, 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 like I am talking about communications here, communications. You never bothered calling, even when I called, you just answered me like some stranger. Listen, have you ever been a victim of homicide, especially in a foreign land? It's not something you wish for your enemy. It will make you lose total composure. I lost everything. Even right now, I still don't know myself. Maybe until after the burial of Emeka, then I can be Greg again. That, that's the point. You know what I think? What? I think you're up to some mischief. Mischief? What, yes, what's that? You know what that means. Come on, baby. Why, 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 are, you, why are you doing this? By the way, how are the kids? They're fine. And they miss the father who never bothered asking about them when I called. Selene, must you rub it in? Must you rub it in? By the way, it's local airport. Too. How could I ever forget that? I bought a ticket. Anyway, I, I bought a ticket. To where? Enugu, of course. I am attending Emeka's burial. And who is going to take care of the children? The nanny is leaving until we get back. Oh, fine. Uh, besides, I need the company. Oh. Hello? Hello, darling. Oh, uh, how are you? I'm uh, glad to hear your voice. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on my way to the local airport. That's good. You landed safely there. Oh, yeah, of course. Uneventful. You know what? I'm checking out of the hotel. How about you say have two weeks? Nah, everywhere is just empty. I can't. Uh, uh, um, uh, okay, I, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay, Shago, thanks, 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 Shago. Okay, we'll talk later, thank you. 
All right, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> Who is Shagun? Oh, uh, a diplomat, uh, embassy staff. I could have sworn that. That what? <laughs> anyway, never mind. You know something? You just turned a stranger in just 28 days. Mm, that makes 12 months then. Excuse me. Think that those people were actually kidnappers. I'm sure. So who are they? I'm just thinking that they could be ritualists. What? Yes. Look, if anyone attempts such absurdity, the brother in the cascops. Ow. Well, they won't even try it. I think they were kidnappers. So why haven't they contacted us? This is almost 6 30 and this thing happened at about 11 45 in the morning. They've not contacted us. Someone's phone is ringing. Okay, it's my phone. Okay. I don't I don't think it's a familiar number. Hello? Hello, yes? Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What? What is it? Ten million naira. Where, where do I get ten million naira from? Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Just hello, 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 hello. The bastard hung up on me. Oh, God. 10 million naira. Where do I get 10 million naira from? Did they say where and when to? They said I must get the 10 million naira before 12 noon tomorrow. And until then, they will not say how and when we'll get the cops. Oh, Jesus God. By 12 midnoon, the body must have decomposed. Oh, no, God. no. The mechanist cops was perfectly embarrassed. Oh. Even if it's safe for six months. Ten no million. cost one up. Oh, thank God for that. Ten million, pap, just for a dead body. Will you just shut up? Will you, will you shut up? It's okay, let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Oh my God. But, but where do I get ten million naira from before 12 noon tomorrow? It's okay. I'll sort it personally. Excuse me, Uncle. Ah. Sure? Yeah. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank <laughs> thanks, thanks a million, Uncle. Mega was my best friend. 
Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca was my best man. And I, I know he would have done far more than that if it were me. God bless you, brother. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, what you do for me tomorrow morning, take me to the bank and get the 10 million dollars. If that's what they want, give them. Thank you. But help me tell your relations and family members that America's cops will be coming home tomorrow for a defeating <laughs> You put in a check for 10 million naira. That's right. Are you expecting any payment? Uh, how do you mean? You have 4.85 million naira, short of 10 million naira in your account. Oh, no, come on, that's impossible. That, that's impossible. Then you have to call your accountant. Oh, wait, one minute, please. That sounds ridiculous. How can I be 4.85 million short? Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what the hell is ha happening to my account? Um, uh, sir, are you are you back in Nigeria, sir? That's a very stupid question. Whether I'm in Nigeria or not is immaterial. I need ten million naira. I don't seem to get it in my account. Um, 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 sir. My friend, talk to me and stop stammering. Uh, sir, there, there's a problem, sir. Of course, I know there's a problem. I definitely know too well that, you know, I'm going to squeeze somebody's balls if that problem is not rectified. I need 10 million naira right away. Rubbish. Uh, please, uh, I'm so sorry. I'll have to get in touch with my Lagos uh, account officer and sort things out. No problem. Thank you so much. Have a, have a nice day. day. Thank you. You only transferred a million dollars from my dumb account to me while in Accra. Yes, sir. So how come there's virtually nothing left in my Zenit account? It's the, the cashier. That's Henrietta? Yes, Henrietta. She did what? She cleaned us out 55 million there. How? Sir, so you won't believe what she did. She went really far. I asked the question, how? She forged your signature. And she, she has been withdrawing money all this while on behalf of you. But since you traveled, sir. No, that's impossible. My Zenith checkbook is still intact. Still the way I left it when I traveled. Nothing has happened to it. So tell me something different. Sir, uh, uh, sir, she's, she's just too intelligent. She, she broke into your office. What? Sir, she broke into your office. She, she took a leaflet from, from the booklet and, and she applied. And the bank innocently gave her one. So what happened? She has been withdrawing four millionaire every day. No, 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 listen to me, Clem. Listen to me, Mr. Clem. My bank cannot pay up to three million naira without a confirmation from me. That would, that I know. <sighs> Sir, she's more smarter than this. She withdraws two million naira twice a day. Where where were you? Just where were you when all these things were happening? You're just recounting with so much confidence what she did. Where were you? I had no idea she would come up with this mischief. Huh. I mean, Hereta being who she is, I mean, she, she has considerable amount of trust in here, sir. Henrietta betrayed trust. I gave her. She will soon realize the implications. So why is she now? Disappeared. She, she left her Lagos home. To where? Have you gone to the village to check or find out where she comes from? No, sir. You have not. Mr. Clem, 
get out. Uh, yes, sir. How many times did I beg you? I begged you to allow me to come work with you. See, that, that one useless cashier suddenly turned dubious. Does not make my, my stance and my decision wrong. Really? Yes. So you think a decision that made you lose a whooping 55 million naira is not a good one? My children are worth more than that. Do you know that? They are grown. Listen to me. I have told you, I will never let my children be brought up by any house help or whatever. I will never. And the truth about it, until Bob gets into college, I'm not bulging. Even after losing such an amount of money, and even on the prime of losing even more? Prime of losing more? Yes. How? Because you'll be traveling often to Ghana for your business trips and your work and business and everything will be left at the mercy of your workers. Uh, for God's sake, Selene, it was my cashier that did me, not my workers. When she stole every other person that you could be leaked. Baby, why, 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 why baby, listen to me. I, I, I don't know why you're dragging this issue. Let me tell you something. I know of a man, my father's friend. He worked so hard with his wife that they left the upbringing of their children in the hands of nannies. You know what happened? As I speak with you right now, none of the children ever ended up useful. Oh, darling, please. You can't make blanket decisions over just one example. Listen, baby, one is enough. One is enough. Baby, listen, I have told you. See. See, I'll take care of you all. I, 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 I'll just make sure you guys are okay. Just do me one favor. Raise up kids that we would be proud of. It's our matrimonial responsibility. I promised. Then keep to your promise, baby. Please. Look, darling, the thing is, I can't stand to see my husband being ripped off of something he sweated so much for. It feels as if the, the kids are being robbed of their no, future. baby, listen, listen. It's okay, okay? I'll be fine. Just take care of our kids. Please. It's okay. You say so. I say so. It's fine. You can look at you, you've been eating all this food, look at you. Ah, how are you guys? Fine. Did you guys miss me? Yes. I miss you guys so much. Ah, now, good day. Quick one, I bought a whole lot of good things for you guys, okay? But quick one, what do you want? Ice cream, shawarma, pizza, donut. Ice cream. Ice cream for you, D. Ice cream, shawarma, pizza, donut. Ice cream. So, two ice cream. Done deal, isn't it? By the way, uh, where is Dave? He's sleeping. Sleeping. Okay, don't worry. So right now, I'll tell you guys my stories. You know, you guys always love my stories, isn't it? Good. Now, are we ready for my story? Are we all ready? Story, story. Story. Once upon a time, there was an old man. Yeah, woo, I'm coming. Yes. 
me. Pierre de Wafa, what are you doing here? Say, how long will you run from your mother? I told Collins never to give him my address. I told him I never wanted you calling. So, so, so what are you doing here? Collins is doing all the right things. So as you can see, I'm doing so well without your thought interference. <laughs> doing well? Living off men? Jumping into nightclubs? Trying to hook up with any available Nigerian man you see? That's prostitution! Just, 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 just stop it! Hey! Stop it! Hey! What about that man, huh? Who needs to buy crap? Where did you leave your moral sense? Morals. Are you talking to me about morals? Just take a good look at yourself. How did I come to be? We're not talking about me. It's all about you. How can we talk about me without talking about you? You hooked up with a foreigner whose only contribution towards me was putting me in you. Did he ever stay around to carry me in his arms? Did he ever buy chocolate for his daughter? Did he know if I went to school or not? And what did I get from you? This poverty chocolate. What? Shut up! Denied myself everything to, to get you to be. The safest way could have been getting rid of you at a brownie stage, but I didn't. In most cases, I refused to eat just to make sure you did. But what did you pay me back with? Leaving me where you could have been useful to me, your mother, who single handedly murdered you. Why, Samata? Oh, what? What stupid denial! Yes, I left! I left because you were just choking me. I left because I was just tired of calling you mom. When, when, when others mixed with that? I left because I didn't want to repeat a stupid mistake. I left because I, 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 I wanted to see what they would offer to make my own choice. What? You left for a better choice than your mother? Exactly. Huh? So tell me, was your action any better? Aren't you exactly towing the same dangerous way your mother did and tried to make sure you didn't? The bitter. <laughs> Never? You are better off than I, Samata. I was never mixed up with murder. Unless it was clear and so was I. <laughs> the question is, what's your source of livelihood? Huh? Living off men? Enough! Hey! Samata, are you all right? <laughs> you end up worse than I. Never! Never! Let me tell you, if any kid of mine will have the opportunity of calling someone father, he will always be there. Like you. I come in you with me. I should have aborted you. Ah! That's the only good thing you've said. And that's a compliment I intend to follow religiously. You know what? I have never been to a doctor for a pop, and I'm not intending to. Hey! But take it from me. Every kid of mine will have someone to call father and play with. Kwasia. Hey! Samantha! Me who mami kwasia? Who papa ya kwasia? Who ya kwasia? Hey! A shower! Hey, me, Samata! My own daughter! Telling me I'm Kwasia! I'm not a shark! Hey! Officer, I invited you. Uh, there is. One million naira. There will be an accompanying photograph. For what, sir? Yeah, my cashier Henrietta made away with my 55 million. 55 million? Yes. Give this money to the DPO. Tell him I want him and his boys to unearth her wherever she is. Where's the village, sir? I don't know. Um, can we have a personal profile leader, sir? By that I mean, uh, I understand you mean uh, state of origin, place of bad local government area, isn't it? Unfortunately, we don't do that in this outfit. 
in this outfit what counts is competence and capability as long as you're a nigerian you can do the job you're competent you're capable we'll give it to you we firmly believe that as nigerians we should be able to work anywhere in this country irrespective of where we come from as long as competence and capability is intact good thinking now uh, yet you kept the nigerian police blinded and you, oh. yeah and you want good results where do we start from uh, well, I, 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 a very last address. I believe there should be a couple of persons who will know where she comes from. Yeah, I admit. That's the right move. Uh, so let's get cracking. Well, I think uh, you're really going too far with this uh, motivation. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell my DP what you want. Express service. That's right. And uh, By the way, by the time you get out of my office, my secretary will give you her personal photographs. No problem. Okay. Thank you Once more, thank you. Have a splendid day. My government is piling pressure. And believe me, this sour grape seems poised to usher in diplomatic face-off. Well, I've been trying towards that. Like I told you, the detective is... It's a lucky life. detective. Pronto. You got it right this time around. And take it from me. I'll make sure I will unearth the son of a bitch responsible for this. Or die trying. That's talking. Hello, Greg. What's going on? Why, why are you sounding that way, Samantha? Why? Do you mean my mama sounding like this? Your phone is always switched off. Yeah, because I'm in meetings. Meetings, they meet all the time. Listen to me, Samantha. I am the CEO of Smoothland Communications. I've been away for 28 days, girl. I have a whole lot of catching up to do. Do you get it? Charlie, are you lying to me? Samantha, I, I never lied to you while I was in Accra. Why should I do that now? That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Baby, you know it's been three weeks since you left. I miss every second. Yeah, yeah, I miss, uh, uh, miss every second too, I do, but you know. No, you don't see. If you did, you would keep your lines open for my calls at all times. I mean, if you did, you would call me after the end of every meeting. If you did, you would. He hello, hello. Hello, dear. hello, Greg. What are you doing here? It's my husband's office, remember? I know. I thought I made it crystal clear to you that I'm not comfortable with you visiting this office. I need to get acquainted and that's what I'm doing. You know what? I will never let you work in this office until Bob steps into college. <laughs> and you really want to work on that? Sell him. I already have a whole lot of headache. Why are you adding to it, darling? Why are you doing this? When my darling husband suddenly loses 55 million naira of family funds, adding to headache strictly becomes my hobby. This is not you, darling. It's not you. Absolutely. In the past 70 years of being in a police force, I've never been beaten this hollow before. Actually, your cashier hails from uh, a bank in um, Anambra State. But, I mean, but, nobody, nobody in our community has either seen or heard from my in the past 14 months. <laughs> and that is bizarre. <sighs> Officer. Strange, strange indeed. Absolutely strange. But um, we have put efforts 
in the past two months and um, oh, officer, officer, keep trying. That's what life is all about. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Um, I actually came here because I believe um, I owe you this personal report. You know, even though nigga. Look, I appreciate every effort you're putting into this. So just, just give it your best shot, okay? Listen, failure is never a crime. Not making an attempt is the real issue. Certainly. No problem. I just came to give you the... It, it's okay. I, I do appreciate everything, okay? Have a nice day. Do have a nice day. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. <sighs> baby, I'm counting. It's only 11 more days. Ah, baby, I'm also counting. Can't wait, you know? Tell me, Lollipop. I fighted with you. You did? Really? So, what, what happened? Uh, but I lost her. Oh, damn. Uh, okay, did you try getting in touch with the uh, police chief in Accra? Okay, okay, that will be fine. Baby, please, I want you to be on top of this for me. Let me tell you what. I will be so gratified if by the time I come back to Accra, Emeka's killers are behind the bars. Please. Damn, I'm going to ever try. That's... That's my baby. I trust you. I trust you. I can die for you when you know it, baby. You know I can take a bullet for you, don't you? It's okay, baby. You'll be good. Right. Bye. Ciao. I cited the name today. Where? Uh, Accra Shopping Mall. Which of the malls? Accra Shopping Mall. I just told you. I hope you didn't try anything stupid. Just what will be stupid? Accusing her by herself. Well, I would have if she gave me the chance. No, never. She never approached her by herself. Look, you might underrate me, Collins, but in Mimi's fear, I can more than take care of myself. That's when she's alone. But from all indications, she's hardly alone. So whenever I see her, you just give me a call. That's it. You. That's good. Enter, let's go. You seem so withdrawn these days, leaving the children notice. Until you allow me to become part of your business, don't expect me to be happy. Baby, listen, I, I, I just... What is it with this new habit of yours? Habit? Yes. You always turn off your phone. You hardly do that. You always pick your calls, no matter how late it was. Baby, change. People change. Indeed. Your husband here is not an exception. You know what, Greg? Why don't... Good night. Good night? Yes, you heard me. Good night. Okay. Good night.
Hello? Hello, Greg. <laughs> Guess what? Mimi and Loki are behind there. Really? Wow, that's great. Yes. You know you said it's, it's the present you cherish most. I didn't want to spoil the fun, so. Oh, oh, listen, listen, that's fantastic. I'm so happy, okay? At least Emeka's soul can now rest. And I can't wait to hold you in my arms. It's just 72 hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, well... It's on Friday, right, Greg? Yeah, but I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yes, because the BTM representatives came to Accra, um, came to Nigeria and we've sealed the deal, so they, they, there will just be no need for me to come to Accra again. I don't get you. What do you mean there's no need? Yeah, that's what I said. <clears throat> what about me? Uh, you are... Uh, Listen, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but uh, the truth is, uh, uh, I can't possibly visit uh, Accra again this year. Yeah, that, that, that's the obvious truth. This, this year? What? This year? That's what I just said. No, okay. This is what you're talking. Uh, well, yes, uh, I'm so sorry, but... Then? Listen, listen, girl, listen, girl. I, I just have to go. I, I'm a little bit busy. I just have to go, okay? See ya. Bye-bye. Uh, hello, hello? Hello, Greg. Hello? Hello? <laughs> what the hell is it? <laughs> I heard you let the rest of Lucky like Mimi. But I thought I told you not to. He's, he's, he's not coming, Carlos. He's not coming again. You mean Greg? You know what? <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? You made 30,000 Ghana cities off it. That's something. Give me a problem. You just smile, man. You just, just go. Go. You can just go. Just go. 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 I'm just so angry. I'm angry. Hello? Hello, Shago? Yeah, Greg. I believe you are aware that the corporates have been apprehended. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I was even about to call you, honestly speaking. The chief of police called and told me excitedly. Both the girl and her boyfriend. I wish I had been there myself to squeeze, the, to squeeze life out of those idiots. I wish I had been there. I can imagine. So when are you coming back to Accra? Well, not uh, so soon. I uh, Not this year, if you ask me. Not this year. Oops. The cop will be disappointed. He was hoping for your positive ID on the corporate. Well, but that, that's not an issue. Samantha saw as much as I did. And in fact, she's a local. So if they need an ID, has as much as preferable. Um, something like two heads being better than one. By the way, that's okay. Um, I will inform the cop. I think he has to do with just um, Samantha. Okay, no, no, it's okay. Yeah. Um, that reminds me. Uh, talking of Samantha, please. Uh, I've called it quits with her. I, I just uh, look all. I, I just hung on to her then because I needed her to like lead us on to uh, uh, unearthing the cop or culprit. Uh, that's all. But I think I'm done with her. Really? Uh, yes. See, her incessant calls drive me crazy. Do you know that my wife is already suspecting? Look, the moment I'm done with this call, I'm, I'll remove this SIM and change my SIM. Just in case she comes to your office or comes to your to get information about me, please do not oblige her. I beg you. I beg you, please. Well, um, what are friends for? Anyway, goodbye. Good. Bloody bastards. <sighs> I will only ask you once. Who did? 
if he didn't kill the Nigerian. Blackie. But you said you did. I lied. Just to keep you in check. So, how do I get this Blackie? How do I get to Blackie? You, you, you get him. But it'll take you some time. Move. Move. Yes. A woman is here, sir. So? She wants to be one of our major distributors. Then you take her to the manager, or you don't know what to do? I know, but the woman insists on seeing you, sir. Why are you persistently insisting that I see this woman? Why? Because she's, she's expectant. Pregnant? Yes, sir. Okay, let her in. Okay, sir. Madam, sit down. I said sit down, madam. You should first take a look at me, Charlie. Good gracious. Samantha. How, how did you get to Nigeria? Nigerian is not a nut pull, Greg. You see? I promised my baby I will meet with her father before her birth. And I hardly break my promises. What, 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 what are you talking about? What am I talking about? What, what am I... What am I talking about? Yes. A heartbroken woman trying so hard to break the monopoly of a man's world. No, listen, Samantha, you're, 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 you're getting it all wrong. You're getting it all wrong. I don't understand this. Not me, Greg. No, 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 no not me. How could I have ever lived without the only man I have ever loved? When I discovered I was pregnant. What? Actually, you gave me this extra big girl. You see, I am 26 and I've never been pregnant. And I also promised my mother. Hey, 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 listen to me. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your senses? Ah, uh, Charlie. Charlie, I have never been most sensible. You're home, baby. Shh. Listen. That's Daddy Takin. Mm -hmm. He's angry. Yes. Perhaps he's still in shock. But don't worry, honey. Don't worry. You'll calm down. Don't worry. I know. <laughs> he said, Daddy, you'll calm down. <laughs> Listen to me, Samantha. Let me give you a vital piece of information. I am a married man, happily married to a loving and beautiful wife with three beautiful kids. You know what? There is no home for you here. Samantha, no home. Samantha! 
Samantha. 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 Who is there? Who is there? I need help. I need help now. I need an ambulance. No! Mr. Greg, don't worry. She's all right. All she needs is rest. By this time tomorrow, she'll be discharged. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. This is my job. Oh, I still appreciate it. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, doctor. You haven't told me, Greg. What else do you want me to say? What else? Why? Why did you lie to me? Well, I, I, I don't know, but like I said, I'm sorry. I, I, I just can't. Look, I'm sorry. These things happen. Let, let's just forget this thing and look for. These things, things happen. happen. Really? Yes, these things happen. Quick question. When you left Ghana, did you plan to come back? Of course I did. I did. Then why did you change your mind? Because I had handled the business that was meant to bring me in Accra here in Nigeria. You know what you did? Yes, I lied. And I'm sorry, I've apologized. Why, why are you going through the motions, bringing these things up? No, 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 not quite. Because you started a fire that would consume you. Come on, Samantha. Let's not use words like that, you know. I, I don't know why you're taking this thing too far. By the way, I needed to ask you, how did you trace your way straight to my office? Unlike you, I don't lie. And anything I want, I get. I actually got your two addresses, but I prefer the office. Which I appreciate so much for your understanding, and that's the kind of understanding I need for us here. No, 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 no. Don't thank me yet. I, I don't rejoice yet, because I can just decide to pop into your home tomorrow. Why, 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 why would you do that? Why, why would you just pop into my I home? I can do whatever I want, and, and, and that depends on my mood. But, but it does not solve any problem. No, 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 why would no, no, you no, want no, to no, just pop out. into my home? Get out, or do you want me to create a can, thing? Can, can we just... What? Get out! Oh, do you want me to quit this scene? I said out! Out! Okay, okay. Okay. Just get out. I'll go. I can see your old forgotten habit is back. Can you just let me be? And you've started keeping late nights. That's a new one. I saw the way you looked at me the first time you opened Greg's file at the embassy computer. Why didn't you tell me then and then he'd ask it? I couldn't. You couldn't? I am a woman, Samantha. 
I saw how you had emotions oozing for him. I couldn't handle to see your reactions if I had told you. Well, I guess you're right. I am right. I appreciate all you've done to assist me so far. Thank you. I am a Ghanaian. I won't take it for any money or any man who comes from anywhere who puts a fellow countrywoman in such a deplorable state. Now, can I ask something? Yeah. How related is the BTM telecommunication company to the Ghana Embassy? Extremely symbolic. Can I use the Embassy to reverse Greg's deal if he refuses to cooperate? What are you trying to do? That's not the answer to my question, Brenda. Well, yes. Only if I get you to the ambassador. Yes? Last night. Last night? Yes. You came home very late at about 1 a.m. Oh. Where were you? You know, this uh, $7.5 million contract I just got awarded uh, comes with that overdrive. You know, it's, a, it's, it's an exploit. So it comes with the overdrive, late night meetings here and there, and all that stuff. That's what actually happened the overdrive. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll be on my way then. to walk into your home and wait with the wife till you return. You know you can't do that, Samantha. Sure I can. Just pray my mood doesn't change, or rather, don't change my mood. Samantha, I know I messed things up by lying to you, but please, go back to Accra. Go back. Yes. Are you are you kidding me? Go, go, go back and, and and what happens to my baby? Greg, let me tell you something. I I didn't know my father thanks to, to my mother. In Namibian set her up the way you did me and like you abandoned her before i was born so so I, I i never had the opportunity of calling anyone father i i made a promise to myself my mother and my yet to be conceived child such fate will never befall him or her you know, that's uh, uh, indeed pathetic and unfortunate. But the issue is this. We have made the mistake. The mistake is already done. So how do we correct it? Simple. I want to come in. Where? You home, of course. Because, you see, my baby, my boy, my darling would have someone to play with, have someone to call daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha, you know that's not possible. Not possible? Yes. You want a bet? Listen to me, Samantha. I know I acted irresponsibly. I know, yes. Mm -hmm. These things happen. People do it all over the world. Question is, 
Why would you keep a pregnancy for a man you barely know? Why? <laughs> my, my, my foolishness. Maybe, just maybe, if you had told me you were married, I, I, I wouldn't have been that foolish. You know what? This is what we'll do. I know that uh, before I left Accra, I paid $30,000 in your account. Now, I'm going to make it $100,000. I want you out of my country with the next available flight. Don't you ever try it. Never. Never! How dare you? Do not let the love I have for you turn into hatred. I swear, Samantha, you will regret it. You will regret ever stepping your foot on these shores. What will you do? Hmm? What will you do? Because I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you. It's okay. It's okay. I hate you. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Hello, Selin. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Hello. You look so fabulous, Selin. Thank you. How are your kids and your husband? What's going on? Fine, we. Well, thank God. Okay. I know you too well. What's going on? <laughs> Mitchell, there is something eating me up, and I need to talk to you about it. Let's have it first. It's gone. Trust me, it is something more complicated than you've ever dealt with. I said, let's have it first. You're getting me worried. <sighs> okay, Rachel, it's about my husband. He went to Ghana for a business trip and he got this woman pregnant. Oh my... Are you sure you got your facts straight? Absolutely sure, 100%. Go on. As we speak right now, he's in a hotel with this same woman. Oh my God, Selin, I'm so sorry. I can't imagine how you're feeling right now. I'm sorry. That is why I'm here, Mitchell. I need to deal with this. Just I need you to do something. Do anything. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um. Okay. I I love it so much to you in your life. But it will cost you. You know, I need to prove that my baby what my mother could done for me. Yeah, I do understand all that. Um, like how much are we looking at now? Um, Just half a million dollars. What? Excuse me. What did you just say? Half a million dollars. And when will God's earth do you expect me to get that kind of money from? You just signed the contract of 7.5 million with BTM Investment. Wait. How did you know that? I am very thorough, Greg. Okay. Because I signed a 7.5 million dollars deal with BTM. You want to eat up the profit? profit? Hey, Charlie, please tell that to the bet. Tell you that a contract of 7.5 million yield just 0 0.5 million profits, really. You know, I, I, I don't know why. This is outrageous. You know, if you were talking about, say, $50,000, then, okay. You have no luxury of negotiation. Or else I move into your home, as well as write to my embassy to advise BTM to reverse the recently signed contract on moral basis. Oh, that's that's cheap emotional blackmail. That's a cheap emotional blackmail. 
Let me tell you something. Your, your embassy does not possess such powers. BTM is a limited liability company. I make so much money right here in Nigeria. I will not, you know, get themselves into such petty, trivial thing that has got nothing to do with them. Believe that or believe anything. Listen to me. $100,000 or nothing. That's the point. Save your bread for something more important. Cause I said, Non-negotiable. I've said a hundred thousand dollars you don't know. What, what? This is greed, Samantha. How could you? What? Security Matthew. Well done, Bill. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Yeah. Matthew, any problem? No problem at all. See, you get what I want to ask you. You see, uh, I hope say I got no they behave strange for your life. Mind your own business, Matthew. As you mind my business. Okay. Okay. Oh, well. He doesn't seem to understand that he's just a security man. Ali, I want you here. Samantha, do you know what time of the night this is? Ha. Ha. Ali. When you're in Ghana, I never ever bother about what time it was to be with you. Now, it's your time. <sighs> Hello. So what's the problem? It's the baby. The baby did what? I know you'll be due in two months. Some babies come premature. No? Listen, I pray this one doesn't because I'm not going to give anything less than a hundred thousand dollars. Charlie, that's not what I call you yet, bro. All I want is to just What? Are you out it's of your mind? It's not what you're thinking. Then what is it? Actually, all this baby wants is a baby. So if you want some father care, show, show him some love now. And, you know, just for once, lay behind me and caress me. You, you, you have three boys already. You should know this, eh? Don't you? Sorry, I can't. I can't. I can't. Do it for once. Be a responsible father. I, I said... Okay. On one condition. What? You accept the $100,000 and by sunrise tomorrow you're out of my country. Mm -mm. Actually. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. I can't. That, that must be my wife. And so what? Charlie, if you pick that call, I will, I will talk so loud she will hear. Why, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, Samantha? She's loved, Charlie. 
love mm -hmm, sure it, it comes in different from this the best one. what kind of stupid love is this samantha why are you doing this you're making me be angry oh god can't take this can't take this anymore So let me pick this. Let me pick that call out. I'll don't shout. Let me don't shout. Okay, okay. Why okay. we don't shout? It's, okay, it's, pick it's, it now. It's, don't it's shout okay, now. Okay, okay, ah. okay. Still not picking. Huh? Oh. I am going to that hotel right now. I am going to that hotel. I can't deal with this. I am going. Calm down, Selene. Calm down. Take a deep breath. <sighs> You'll be fine. through the night because oh. he just came in this morning oh yeah baby I'm, I'm so sorry I was with a MD of BTM all through the night at the nightclub he had a little bash so I just had to tag along I'm so sorry I didn't call you really yeah you know it has to do with uh, playing in the big league now and all the sacrifices that go with it so sorry I didn't call you Sacrifice, right? So sacrifice in your own definition means lying all the time? Huh? I'm not lying. Greg, now look me in the eyes and tell me where you spend the night. Oh, what I just explained to you, I'm not lying. I, I, just, I said, I look me in the face and tell me where you spend the night. Go ahead and lie. I, Keep on lying. I, lie to me. I, 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 God damn it. I, I'm not lying. She's blackmailing you, right? Who? She's Black blackmailing you, right? Who is blackmailing who? I am talking about Samantha. She's blackmailing you, right? That's it right there. The question now is for how much? For how much is she blackmailing you? Are you masking you, Greg? How much is she blackmailing you for? <sighs> Greg, I am your wife. I have been married to you for eight good years. I can read you like a book. I know you too well. A fact you have previously ignored. Eating, why? You expect me to? Come on, Greg. Even Jesus Christ had the last supper, even though he knew the end was near. <laughs> oh. So, this is the last supper. That's not what I meant.
So, how did you find out? That's not important right now, Greg. No, Selene. It's important, dear. Very, very important. The most important thing right now is for you to pay her. Yes, but I'm going to pay. Of course you will. But you're not going to pay her $100,000. You're going to pay her what she's asking you for. $500,000. Half a million dollars? Yes. For what? Because she is carrying your child and has the indignity to walk away. Oh, come on, Celine. Baby, why, why are you driving the dagger deeper? Sweetheart, why are you doing this? Greg, this is not my style. You know that. This is not my style. I am just trying to be reasonable here. I remember you once said that your kids were worth more than 55 million naira, right? Yes, of course, and much more than that. So if you ask me, paying half a million dollars is more like it. You know, I have been wondering, what has the worth of my children got to do with this, this, this thing? Everything. It has got everything to do with it. Have you for once asked yourself why I'm being so calm and cool with your excessive escapades, have you? Well, I, I have actually given it a thought and I, I... You mind telling me? How do you expect me to explain to the kids that their loving father got another woman pregnant behind their mother's back, huh? How do you expect me to explain to the kids if that adulterous Samantha moves into our house just like she threatened? How do you it's expect- okay, It's okay! Celine, it's all right. I have been horrible and a horrible father and husband. I am not the priest, Greg. Oh, you save me your sarcasm, please. Anyway, you know what's going to happen? You have to go to the office by Monday, raise the money, and pay her all of it. No, Celine, I, 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 I don't have. $500,000, where do I get the money from? Where? Greg, remember Michael's reaction earlier today when he heard both of us yelling at each other, you remember? So think about what is going to happen if Samantha brings her things into this house. Think about it! $500,000? No! That's robbery. Broad day robbery! That's so? what it is! You really think so? Don't even dare try to say that to her face. Because if she changes her mind and raises the bar up, you'll be locked up for more than a million dollars. I... I... I, I don't understand, Celine. Is, is it that... Are you happy that, that I'm parting with such amount of money, Selene? Are you happy about it? Of course. Of course, Greg. Why wouldn't I be happy? Tell me, why wouldn't I be happy? If you have to pay half a million dollars for cheating on your wife, maybe, maybe just next time you learn to keep your adulterous flyer zipped up for the rest of your life. Cheat! <laughs> Hello. He's offered a hundred thousand dollars. So, what are you waiting for? Take it around back home, baby. Hey, Charlie. He's just bluffing me off. Mary. Come on. Hundred thousand dollars is a lot of cash. Don't you greedy? Collins, relax. Hmm? Relax, baby. I am handling this. Perfectly. So relax. Mm. Mm, you can bet all you've got. I am handling that perfectly. Mm? Charlie, you will see. <laughs> Charlie. When you called that you changed your mind, I became suspicious. Suspicious of what? 
I didn't expect you change your mind so suddenly. So I called the embassy and told them what my transaction was all about. You did what? Mm -hmm. I called Brenda, my contact, for a little security. You know, Colin's friends told me people who change their mind rapidly are very dangerous. Samantha, has it ever occurred to you that you are a blackmailer? A cheap one for that matter. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, I've forgotten you first offered to settle me. Okay, don't worry, fine. Keep your money. I'll pack into your home. See, Charlie, I don't mind being a second wife. Oh. I don't mind being a second wife at all. Ha. Why, why, why didn't I ever know that you are the devil herself? Why didn't I know that you're evil, Samantha? Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Thank you very much for the compliments. Coming from the father of my baby. Hey, Charlie. That's so hard. Okay, listen, listen. Enough of this Charlie rubbish, okay? If you want to address me, address me as a person. You know, I'm not caught out to all these childish nuances. There. Hey, get down your domiciliary account and get out of this place. Charlie, Charlie, now you're talking. Uh -huh. You're talking. Charlie. Get that thing down, now. I will. Yes, I've confirmed it. Do not ever cross my path in the remaining days of your life. I don't even intend to. You know what, Samantha? I know so much about blackmailers. And if you ever try to fleece me the second time, it is going to be cataclysmic. Hey, 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 Charlie. Save the seven for fools. I'm not one. You should be on your way to the airport right away. I've already packed. See, don't bother coming to pick me. I have a friend, she's on her way. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, right? What do you know? Ready? Yeah, sure. Now let's hit the road. Okay. That's all we've got. Yeah, that's all. You hurry up so you don't miss your flight. Okay. is going to be so rich as I mean he's gonna be richer than Bill Gates. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I mean he's made half a million dollars on his zero birthday. Five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Sally, tell me do you really love your husband? Of course I do. So why did you offer me all the information and assistance to Cheap him of half a million dollars because I wanted him to pay for his sins. You know, I was ready to take his offer of hundred thousand dollars, but he insisted I stuck to half a million dollars. Why you rob your family of four hundred thousand dollars? For personal reasons, I don't want to disclose. Okay, darling, look, all you need to do now is go enjoy your money, every bit of it. Okay. A woman that was treated as such deserves even more. So go enjoy your money and stop worrying your little head. <laughs> so you're not angry I slept with your husband? Not at all. Why should I? After all, you had no idea he was married. Honestly, I don't know. I know. 
So not matter to you, okay? You did nothing wrong. No, like you very very And you're remarkable too. Your office. My office? What yeah. for? Remember you asked me why I did not make a fuss about Samantha? Oh, come on, come on. Selin, darling, what, what? let's not talk about this again. Not this morning. Well, I did because I will be working in your office henceforth. What? Yes, that is your punishment for cheating on your darling wife of eight years. I will carve out something for you in the office here as the MD of Smooth Line Operations Limited. We share 50-50. That's ridiculous. 50-50 as in... I mean in responsibilities, decision taking most importantly. Henceforth, I will take care of any of the company's transactions overseas. Why? Craig, are you really asking why? Are you? Yeah, of course. Especially when it has to do with Ghana. Oh, wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. No, no, you don't, you, you, you can't do that, Celine. You, you, you can't crush all I have assiduously worked for over the years. Just because of a careless fling. Is that what you call it? You should be ashamed of yourself. No, I'm rather alarmed and amazed because I know too well that you do not have the competence, the capability to, 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 to take responsibilities of running this company. And you don't have the capacity. Talk more of representing the company internationally. You don't have it. Is that what you think? I know so. Okay. Let's see. Anne, could you bring yourself right here, right now? Let's see. Yes, madam. Anne, could you get me the BTM files, please? I'll be fast about it. Okay, madam. Wait, wait. What the hell are you trying to do? Trying to catch up. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Is it with a gun now? You traitor. Drop it. I said drop it. Drop it. Now follow me. Move. I was worried. We were necessarily delayed. I thought I would never make it. Anyway, you made it, baby. 
five thousand dollars oh you made it girl nope it's we made it mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, anyway, mm. however you made it, baby, you're a genius. No, not me. You know, surprisingly, the wife played the giant's part. His wife? Mm -hmm, his wife. You see, I wouldn't have gotten anything less above $100,000 if the wife wasn't involved. Wow, that's mm. strange. Charlie, stranger things happen. We have the money now, so why worry? Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. So now we have the five hundred thousand dollars. What's next? I quit my job yesterday. Um I think we should relocate to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe? Yeah. With five thousand dollars we can get into farming. I know a friend. Farming? Yes. That's all I've ever wanted to do in my life. Well, whatever you say, it's fine by me. As long as my boy have someone to call daddy. <laughs> ah, yeah. You see, in Nigeria, a victim of fraud is called Mugu. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Madu is definitely the biggest Mugu to believe that the pregnancy is his. Baby, you never can tell. It might be, actually be his. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You know, I was simultaneously sleeping with the both of you for three weeks, so anything could have happened. Yeah, well, 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 well. With $500,000, I don't care. And I wouldn't even care who Simon out did the other. Uh, anyway, I'm his father. And we are secretly getting married tonight. Wow, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God, baby. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I love you. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be going to Zimbabwe, man. Why? She doesn't have anyone to take care of her. Besides, she deserves a little happiness. Taking off Greg and his money. You almost bungled up. Which man wouldn't blow you stop watching his fiancée sleep with a foreigner for money? But I told you I would handle it. That's fine, you did. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me check. You are under arrest. Under arrest for what? For the murder of the Nigerian, Emeka Nwafo. That's absurd. Come on, Collins. I have Blackie, and he has been singing like a canary. Uh, no, 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 Collins, no, honey, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, honey, but. Uh, but what? I saw the way he was looking at you in the club. I followed you to to his house, knowing you're going to fall in love with him. I called Blackie to. Kill the man in the blue top, but I don't know how he murdered it up. Hey, Kalis, why? Eh, you know, you, you know, I cannot love another person apart from you. Eh? He got us a million dollars. Kalis, go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, honey. Okay. I will be put away for life. But why, 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 why? Show him my wedding pictures. Let him know I died in a motor accident. Uh -huh. And I would have loved him more than any father. My friend, take him away. <laughs> no, him no, away. no, please, no. please, 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 Yeah, do your checklist. Vouchers, yeah, I've received them. Canada, your uh, CAC registration. Yeah, make sure by one o'clock everything is in place. I get back to you. 
Hi, baby. I'm good. Are you? Very well. Yeah, that reminds me. What was it you said we needed to talk about? Quick one. Yes. Now that we've made $3 million from the BTM deal, mm -hmm. I propose we purchase some properties in the U.S. Properties from America? But I thought we both agreed that we have to do some level of... Do I some. know, darling, I know. I know we talked about it, but come on. This country is ever fragile. Besides, the politicians are not giving us any positive hope for the future. <sighs> Come on, baby. I, I, but we are doing well. Business is booming. Really? Because you made just $3 million? Just? Oh, come on, darling. Look around. The country is still politically unstable. <sighs> I propose we buy property worth of $2 million. Jones is looking already. Jones? Yes, Martin Jones. Okay, uh, if you say so, uh, uh, I was just thinking, but okay, let Jones look on. It's okay. Don't worry, darling, okay? Don't worry, it's all the right. best for us. It's all right. That's more like it. Mm. You have a nice day. You too. Jones is looking on. What is happening to me? Am I losing it? God. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Where the hell have you been all through today? I'm in Abuja at the moment and leaving for California soon. What? You're where? I am gone with the kids, Mr. Madu. Mr. Madu? Yes, you lying, cheating, miserable idiots. Listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Selin, we have, we have been through worse times. What's this? Huh? Why, why all this? Why are we going back to these motions? Never. The day I saw those pictures of you and that little tart Samantha kissing the whole streets of Ghana, you ceased to be my husband. No, listen, listen to me. Let's talk. No, let, let, can, can we just pull yourself together so we can talk? Mr. Madu, Shagun Odule, your ever faithful and reliable diplomat and I, were classmates in the University of California. So you with that good-for-nothing, shameless, wayward prostitute for 28 days in Ghana. He did what? Shut up. I am not done yet. When I found out you were cheating on me, I connived with your accountant and made away with 55 million naira. Salin, what, what, what are you talking about? I am a woman, Mr. Madu. Henrietta did not steal a thing. I did. In California, United States of America, of course. But, but, why, but why would you steal my money? Is it not our money? Because I thought that would make you want me to work with you. But how wrong I was. Luckily for me, the tart Samantha came into play. And she presented an opportunity on a platter for me. What? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, are, are, you, are you reading from a movie script? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe your escapades in Ghana is perfect for a blockbuster, or don't you think so? Listen, listen, baby, you know what? Come back, come back, Selin, come back, let's talk, baby. Let's talk, let's talk, okay? Let's talk. In your dreams, in your dreams, Mr. Madu, I struggled so hard to become part of the company, and I'm sure you know why. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The $2 million project? Oh, you're still smart, Mr. Madu, yes. And I'm sure you still have enough left to pull the pieces of your miserable life together. And I'm going to file for divorce as I get to the United States. I am an American citizen and so are the kids. But you don't need this. Baby, come back. 
Salim. Salim? You're gonna hear from my lawyer, and I dare you to come over to California and fight me if you have the guts. Baby, say, say, come, let's talk. Salim? I am done. Done, Mr. Madu. I would have given you the luxury of talking to the kids for the last time, but no, you don't deserve such, because you're nothing but a jitten, lying, miserable, humiliating son of a bitch! Sa listen. Salim? Salim? Oh, God. I'm finished. Oh, dear. Uh, who's there? Clem! Anne! Who's there? Sir, Clem has gone to the bank, sir. To do what? Uh, Madame wrote a check for him to cash at the bank today. Madame wrote a check? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. You know, just go, go, go. Okay, sir. the place of mercy and forgiveness. Was she really my wife? I'm gonna waste my time 